What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're gonna be doing a Cowboys offseason realistic rebuild after of course they disappointingly lost in round one to the San Francisco 49ers. Now before we jump into this video though guys I do have a little bit of a cold so that's probably why I sound so weird but I couldn't make this cold I couldn't have this cold stop me from doing this banger of a video so if you guys enjoy this leave a like and of course subscribe if you have not already always greatly appreciate it helps grow the channel thank you guys so much for that but man oh man was that game just crazy yesterday probably one of the best games of the weekend i mean we still have one tonight with the cardinals and the rams which is probably going to be a good game as well but dallas like it almost seemed like dallas was just going to get blown out but then they did come back a little bit in the end and then Dag Prescott, QB draw, did not get the ball off in time, or spiked the ball in time, I should say. And unfortunately, the clock ran out, and the Cowboys lost in disappointing fashion. Now, should it even been in that position? I don't think so, because I think Dallas is one of those teams that has all the talent in the world, but just always seem to screw it up somehow. So, it's really unfortunate. I mean, obviously, as a Washington fan, I hate Dallas, but I, I do have to acknowledge that Dallas has a lot of talent, and... They should be able to do more than they are showing. So that's what basically uh, I have to admit as a Washington fan. They kicked our ass twice. So, um, But looking at the roster, you got Dak Prescott, Zeke, Amari Cooper. I mean, this is like like I said, a good offensive line. Uh, the defense was very much improved with Dan Quinn coming in. And also, of course, going heavy on the draft on the defense was also really well worth it. So there's just a lot. Uh, to focus on but again you could also go heavy defense again in the draft and you could probably improve this team even further uh it'll be interesting to see if jerry jones feels the need to fire mike mccarthy uh will kellen moore go to a different team this offseason it'll just be a, a lot of fun to see but of course we always start with the negotiation stage in these offseason rebuilds we don't have a ton of cap space so resigning people is going to be a little bit tough uh it's not going to be easy so basically you have quite a bit of important free agents you have Michael Gallup, Randy Gag Gregory, Leighton Vander Esch, Dalton Schultz, Jaron Kirst, DeMonte, you got Malik Hooker, Connor Williams, Cedric Wilson. There's a lot of guys here that need to be resigned. Now, I will say, uh, guys I assume that won't be here will be guys like Connor Williams. Uh, I'm sure Cowboys fans are not happy with him yesterday after being penalized so damn much in the playoff game. Malik Hooker, you got... So, you should probably resign one of your free safeties, potentially, like Malik Hooker. Uh, I would assume... Dalton Schultz would be a good signing. Leighton Van Resch. Randy Gregory also made a very stupid boneheaded uh, penalty by tackling. It was like towards the end of the game where it gave the Cowboys an autom or the 49ers an automatic first down. He just tackled the offensive lineman. I don't remember who it was, but he just tackled the offensive lineman for literally no reason. It was like so far from the play and he just did it. And then it was a automatic first down for the 49ers, which I think it would have been a third or fourth down. I can't remember, but all right. What do we want to do here? Who are we resigning? So Michael Gallup almost seems like a guy you'd want to resign, but at the same time, you do have CD Lamb and Amari Cooper already, uh, and we don't have a ton of cap space, so we have to use our money wisely. So getting Michael Gallup back does make a little bit of sense. He's a great wide receiver if you wanted to keep uh, all your wide receiver talent. Uh, Randy Gregory, and then you have Schultz, who has been a good tight end for you as well. Uh, so it almost seems like what I want to do is I want to try to get, we're not going to have a ton of cap space to do anything either. Might be able to free up a little bit of money by cutting people, but not sure. We'll see. Malik Hooker might be one I want to bring back. Uh, Schultz, and then I'm literally looking at Gallup. So let's go ahead and start with Malik Hooker. We'll give him a three-year deal. Obviously, I can't spend too much. He's back. So we'll have Malik Hooker come back. And then Schultz also. But of course, uh, I think most importantly, Michael Gallup is somebody I should be going after immediately. So uh, boom, just like that, we got Michael Gallup back. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if Gallup has any interest in coming back. And then Dalton Schultz, it might be a little bit tough to resign him. So uh, we'll try to see if we can free up any money. So we got Malik Hooker and Michael Gallup back, which uh, is going to be important to have those three guys or those two guys back. But now we need to see if there's going to be the possibility that we could free up any money because there's no little like little to no cap space for us. Uh, so $40,000, you keep your offense, which what I think the Cowboys should do is be a run first offense sometimes they tend to be more pass uh, happy which you know i get it dak is a good passer at times but sometimes dak can be very you know sometimes he doesn't look the greatest but most of the time obviously he's a good quarterback uh but i feel like this team should always be a run first offense and yes they you, they, you think they are but they're really not if you actually watch them sometimes they just pass too much a little bit too pass happy uh, I would have loved to have seen them run the football way more yesterday. I think it would have been uh, probably better and it would have worked way, way better. But uh, it is what it is now. So let's see if we can free up any money. I don't think there's going to be 
uh, a way to free up any money, but we'll see if there's anyone that could be cut here. So uh, savings, we have Amari Cooper. We could save 16 million, but it could be penalty. Okay, so um, Anthony Brown, you got Tyron Smith, Demarcus Lawrence, but uh, yeah, there's really, doesn't look like there's really anybody that I could cut. I could free up $1 million uh, by freeing up Hightower, okay? All right, there's actually a couple guys I could cut here to maybe free up a little bit of money. It would give me the ability to at least resign uh, Dalton Schultz, which is kind of what I want to do. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to cut Hightower. Now, this is just going to be a little bit by a little bit. It's going to release John Hightower. It's going to free up about $1 million. So that's going to give us a little bit of money. And then what else we got? We got... Uh, Harris here to Michael Harris. We're going to go ahead and release him as well. We're just going to free up a little bit by a little bit until we get to the point where you can re-sign Dalton Schultz, I think. Today's video is brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is a DFS player props website that allows you to go over or under on players' projections. You're facing no one in the world but yourself and the numbers. Let me go ahead and show you a few examples of how it works. So on this example, I went for a flex play on Debo Samuel, Cordell Patterson, LaVisca Chanot, and David Johnson, who were all able to hit or go under the numbers, which led to me getting $170. That's just one example. And here's another example where I didn't actually get everyone correct, but I still didn't walk away with nothing. Aaron Jones was able to hit over his fantasy score. Chase Edmonds got over 10 fantasy points, and Mercedes Lewis got under 18 and a half receiving yards. But unfortunately for me, DeAndre Hopkins did not get a touchdown in this game. If you do decide to sign up, my link is down in the description below. Use code CRUSHABLES. They are offering 100% deposit match up to $100. So there's going to be really no way to re-sign uh, Dalton Schultz. I mean, we freed up $4 million to our name, so we're not really going to be able to get anybody that good. I imagine the Cowboys could make some tough decisions this offseason by maybe cutting a couple guys, freeing up a little bit of money, but... I can't make that prediction myself. I don't know who they would try to do that to. So, like I said, I would love to have Dalton Schultz back, but I guess we have Blake Jarwin, uh, which is fine. Uh, Schultz, we cannot get back. He's going to be too expensive. We don't have the money to do it, unfortunately. So, um, I do want to try to get a linebacker, though, because our linebacker core is really bad. So, I'm obviously going to have to go probably for a linebacker not getting a ton of offers. I have to find one that's going to be just fine. Obviously, we're letting Connor Williams walk. Uh, Linval Joseph. We need a linebacker, though. At least one, a middle linebacker or an outside linebacker is going to be pretty important here because we do not have one. Uh, so Chris Barnes, I'm not going to be able to get to probably. It would be nice to bring him in, but like I said, not a ton of money uh, to our name. So we're probably going to have to be going, you know, scraping towards the bottom of the barrel. We got Ruben Foster because uh, right now our current middle linebacker is obviously 24, 24, 68 overall. So Ruben Foster is here. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and give Ruben Foster a contract. Why the hell not? And uh, we're going to have to free up or we're going to have to restructure it a little bit. So uh, this is going to be a low ball offer, but we have to try something. So uh, that would, you know, solve a little bit of our problems in the linebacker core. Kwan Alexander doesn't have an offer either, but I don't think we're going to be able to get to him. So uh, let's see if Ruben Foster accepts our contract. If he does, that'll be a nice addition to the team. We kind of need him in a linebacker. And uh, it was very cheap. And he did accept. So just like that. We got in a middle linebacker, which was very, very, very needed. So now I don't think we have much else money to assign anyone else. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have the money to sign anybody else. So pretty much everything else is going to have to come through the draft. Now, there's trades, obviously, you could make. Uh, I don't know who you trade away. Maybe Dallas is tired of Mark Cooper. I don't know. Anything like that, obviously, is going to be really tough to predict. I don't really know who they'd look at trading away. If they were tired of Zeke, probably not. But I'm just saying, like, that's the way you could get creative and try to free up uh, or try to, you know, make the team better. But I think the draft will probably be just fine. You have a little bit of money to decide whether you want to resign Michael Gallup or not. Personally, I kind of regret signing Michael Gallup back. I feel like I probably should have tried to use that money elsewhere. Uh, I do like him a lot, but I think with CD Lamb and Amari Cooper, uh, you could just try to develop another wide receiver in the draft or something. So, and I probably should use that money more on the defense or on the offensive line because we do need a left guard as well. So, a lot of problems here, but. It is what it is. We went, we made our decision. We got Michael Gallup back, which is good, which is fine. But at the same time, I kind of regretted it in a way. But now we're just going to have to go to the draft. So we're going to go to the NFL draft and try to improve the roster through the draft because there's really no other way to do it. I mean, we have no money. So here we go. Let's go to the draft and see what we can make happen. All right, man. Here we are in the NFL draft. We're going to pick number 23 on the board. So uh, we got to see what we can grab. We got to try to probably focus on the defense. I know we need a guard as well, but... 
I think defensively is kind of where we're lacking the most. Just add more talent to the defense. Let's just go ahead and see what we can get at pick number 23. I mean, we take best available 100% here in a way. Obviously, we need kind of to, uh, you know, pick a player that's going to fit in immediately as a Super Bowl contending team. So you have a couple of quarterbacks on the board. Of course, Charles Cross always seems to fall in this draft class. I can't update it anymore. So uh, Jordan Battle uh, would be interesting. I mean, there's a lot you could do here. Ventro Miller, Jordan Davis. If I could get him in the second round, I'd love to have that. Um, we do need an offensive lineman, um, which I do want to try. I mean, I, I kind of want to draft George, Charles Cross here, but I always draft him. So I kind of don't want to at the same time. Isaiah Spiller, Tyler, um, would be interesting. I guess it says we need another center. He's an A or B awareness, A run block, uh, Tyler Linderbaum. Wow. Actually, he's pretty solid. Huh? We draft a center here in first round one. I mean, our center isn't terrible. It's more the left guard, but or i don't know we need a linebacker as well you know what i'm gonna go ahead we did scout him quite a bit i'm gonna draft a center i'm gonna draft tyra linderbaum he's gonna be a hidden development first time i've ever drafted him now we're gonna go to the second round and hope that uh we're gonna hope and pray that jordan davis is still on the board potentially so let's go ahead and see if that's going to be the case uh so we're gonna be here and we have drake london we have trent mcduffie which uh was another guy I saw in some draft classes or mock drafts that the Cowboys should be looking at. Nolan Smith. Uh, what else we got? Merlin Robinson. I think Jordan Davis might have been taken, which is fair. Um, but it would have been a great pick if we could have gotten him. So let's see if he's still here. It looks like he might have been taken. So we have to, you know, kind of look elsewhere. So we drafted a center in round one. Uh, we need a guard or we need linebacker help. 100%. A corner wouldn't be bad either. Trey McDuffie makes sense uh, in a way. Jarrett Patterson uh could draft a could draft a you know what this is round two i'm gonna draft the corner and trent mcduffie uh he's got c catching c zone coverage what else we got uh b stamina so he's just solid i'll go ahead and draft trent mcduffie here grab you know add more defensive backs a young one so i'll have that and we're gonna go straight to round three where hopefully we can get another solid selection here so uh again i mean dallas was really good at drafting the last two years they got cd lamb and trayvon diggs and micah parsons so i think they could just you know continue to add more talent through the draft so we have nolan smith on the board we have merlin robinson obviously we need to draft one of these uh linebackers we really really need it we also have a linebacker here we scouted heavily we did draft we did uh obviously f tackle deep block shedding i mean these linebackers aren't going to be as good as some of those round one round ones obviously but nolan smith out of georgia b pursuit z tackle Probably not going to be the best D finesse move. B man coverage. That's actually not bad. So we'll draft Nolan Smith uh, to be a linebacker. We need him. So uh, young outside linebacker. And then we have our fourth round draft pick where we can hopefully get something else here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make my selection. I'm going to draft probably, I mean, just anything is going to be fine. We could just go ahead and just draft another linebacker if we wanted to. Uh, we could draft a tackle. We could draft a wide receiver. Um... We need defensive line help as well, but we have a we have a defensive tackle down there. Um, I feel like we should draft a, another middle linebacker. We did, like I said, we scouted this guy heavily, but his F tackle just kind of scares me. B finesse moves, D hit power. He just doesn't look like he's that good, so I'm not going to go for him, actually. Merlin Robinson, we could just draft another. We could technically just draft another linebacker, which I think I will do. I'm going to go ahead and draft Merlin Robinson. Uh, we know nothing about him looks like d impact block d stamina f injury c power moves okay what about demario overshone instead uh maybe we'll go with demario overshone instead um we drafted merlin robinson or, or we already looked at merlin robinson so can i get to uh demario overshone b pursuit that looks a little bit better to me uh b awareness yeah he looks a little bit better we'll draft demario overshone and i think that's all the picks i'm gonna make so you know obviously in madden these guys aren't gonna make any immediate impact but like I said, Dallas has been pretty good at drafting. So hopefully in the draft, you just hit again on a really good player and just continue to add more talent. So coming out of the draft with a 72 overall center, a 67 overall corner, a 63 overall linebacker. So yeah, obviously not too good, but it is what it is. We did draft a wide receiver at the end and a broad outside linebacker. So our outside linebackers that we tried to draft did not, were that good at Madden at least, but obviously as you know, it is what it is so uh not good uh ideally but at the same time we still do have that elite offense we still have the elite 
uh, defensive pieces on the defensive, uh, you know, corners. We got Trayvon Diggs. You have Micah Parsons. Uh, so, and then the Marcus Lawrence is still there. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if Dallas maybe made a move on him, but we'll see. So we have Tyra Linderbaum uh, just sitting here. Am I weird to play him? I mean, he's a 74 overall at left guard. Do I just play him at left guard, maybe? I could just do that, technically. We might just do that, technically. You know what? I'm going to throw Linderbaum at left guard. Why the hell not? So we'll have Tyra Linderbaum play left guard over Connor McGovern, I believe is his name. We have Dak Prescott, Will Greer, Zeke, and then Tony Pollard, of course. CD Lamb, Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup. Tyron Smith, I like this. This looks pretty good. Obviously, it sucks. We couldn't get Dalton Schultz back. But then defensively, you have Ruben Foster. You have also Neville Gallimore. Yeah, the defensive line is a little lackluster. The corners are okay. Uh, and then the linebacker, obviously, is very bad. We only have uh, Mr. Deshaun Davis playing 65 overall. Left outside linebacker, which bothers me a lot. Obviously, I'd love to have a better linebacker there. But just don't. And I, we're not going to have the money to sign one either. So... We're just going to go into some weight this year and uh, hope for the best, man. I think this team should be able to make the playoffs, obviously. Uh, this team usually does in in uh, Madden, so would be very shocked if we somehow missed the playoffs, but we'll see what happens. So we end the season 11-6. and six. Not too surprised, obviously, by that. We are in the playoffs, which we very well should be, so I'm glad that we actually made it this year, so that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the player stats, look at our lineup, and see how things are looking. So... Uh, looking at the stats, you have Dak Prescott, obviously 4,600 yards, 39 touchdowns. Dak is a really good quarterback, so we're not surprised by those uh, you know stats there. Rushing-wise, Zeke Elliott, 1,600 yards and 18 rushing touchdowns. Uh, Receiving-wise, Amari Cooper, 1,300 yards and then 14 touchdowns, 10 touchdowns, 6. TD Lamps, we had three 1,000-yard wide receivers. Blake Jarwin, uh, not too bad at the tight end position either, but your wide receivers were really good for you, so that's awesome. And then defensively, if we take a look, uh, sacks wise, I better see Michael Parsons up here with like 12. He had 14. Michael Parsons at eight. So Marcus Lawrence still had a really good year. Very productive. Donovan Wilson had four. So uh, we were looking at him, obviously, at the strong safety, and he had a really good year for us. So W. And then uh, deflections, we had six from Jabril Crox. What about uh, Trayvon Diggs for interceptions? He only had one. So that'd be a little bit of a fall off. He did have half a sack as well. Uh, going from, what is it, 12 interceptions, 11 interceptions, something like that. Uh, we had touchdowns. We had Jordan Lewis with one touchdown, and we also had a safety. Michael Parsons got two. Neville Gallimore and Michael Parsons. Okay, here we go. We're going to be going into round one. We're going to be playing the Seattle Seahawks. So let's go ahead and see if we can beat the, Dow or the Seattle Seahawks in round one and go to the divisional. Like, we, we, like they should be this year, but unfortunately, it just didn't happen that way. All right, here we go. Seattle didn't score their first possession, but we didn't either. Unfortunate. Uh, but we did get 7-0. Was that a defensive touchdown? Interception. Okay. 14-0. Looks like Seattle doesn't, isn't going to be doing anything unless they score here. Nope. 21-0. Um, wow. Okay. This is just adding insult to injury. Now, I want to play a drive real quick and make this 28-0. Why the hell not? Let's do it. Okay. Let's try to jump in here and make this game 28 to zero. Just bury the Seattle Seahawks. I like Amari Cooper's route, but obviously I know that it may not be there. So let's not do anything. I'm just going to throw this away. Um, this just looks like a disaster waiting to happen. So, all right. Um, I don't know. You know what? We're actually going to run the football this play. Let's actually run the damn football. So let's go to Zeke Elliott and uh, hope we can get some yards here. So it looks like the defensive line might be blitzing here. Let's see if he comes out of it. Um... Maybe we're going to get a little bit of yards here. Nothing crazy, but okay. We got about five yards. Ooh, Zeke is having himself a day. See, this is what I think they should try to do. Rely on Zeke a little bit more. Obviously, it did suck this year. He was injured quite a bit. Uh, he did play, I think, like every game, though. So it's not like he ever missed a game. So, uh, oh my gosh, I, I missed B way earlier in the route. That was that was an L. That was an L by me. That was an L. We'll, we'll come back. That was uh, definitely an L. I don't know why. I, I didn't I throw it to B earlier. I, I missed him. He was wide open, so... Unfortunate, but it's okay. Three and out for us. Um, let's just get a hit stick. Let's go, baby. Use our hit stick. All right, let's see if Seattle's going to respond. Um, I'll, I'm going to definitely do another drive. That that was awful. So, okay, they just didn't score again. Seattle's just not doing anything. Three to 21. Okay. 28 to three. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this last drive. All right, let's get a touch. Let's just... Let's just get a touchdown here. I'm at good field position. 10 and 28. I assume Seattle tried to maybe uh, onside kick it. So, oh my goodness. What a block by Murray Cooper. Let's go. Just like that. 190 yards on the ground for Ezekiel Elliott. This is what I would love to see Dallas do, to be honest. Um, just run the damn football. Let's go. Come on. 
Run the damn ball. 190 yards for Zeke Elliott. You have Tony Pollard as well, who's very talented. And just like that, we should be over two. Nope, not yet. Not yet over 200 yards. Season rank. Obviously, I should probably just mute kneeling the ball here. Um, but not going to. It's going to go ahead and add insult to injury and try to score another touchdown. Very disrespectful, I know. But trust me, it'll be fun. So here we go. See if we can get another inside zone and throw and get Zeke to the end zone. I want to get him to 200 yards real quick. Just real quick. Uh, Bobby Wagner is going to be there. But it is going to be we're one yard off. Let me just go no huddle here. I'm going to believe in Zeke to get this one yard. Come on, Zeke. You're the best in the game. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Just like that, I got a yard. And we have 201 yards. Touchdown. All right. I didn't read this play correctly earlier, so I'm going to run it again. Um, it looks like oh, we're running it to the opposite. Wait, what? I think this is bugged right now. Hold on. Um, I don't really want to run four verticals, but I guess I will. All right. I'm just going to take Zeke underneath. Zeke, get in the end zone. All right. Got a little bit. I think we got a first down of that, too um all right let's try this again maybe this play it looks bugged okay i think i don't know i don't know what madden's doing right now okay um i have a mari i think yes i do just like that touchdown dallas clearly we won this game didn't really need to do all that but let's go baby we're on to the divisional so it's almost like Dallas really didn't even need me in that round. So now we're playing the 9 and 8 Atlanta Falcons. So I'm just going to go into some way the next week and see if this team can get to the NFC Championship. So it looked like we did just fine. I mean, I barely needed to play. The Dallas Cowboys were blown out Seattle. So let's see if we win. And we did beat them 48 to 21. And now we're in the NFC Championship going up against Tampa Bay. Oh, man. This should be interesting to see. I think we got to jump into this one. This would be a good game. Obviously, this would have been the game. Uh, if Dallas would have won, but unfortunately, obviously, that didn't happen. But here we go. We're going to Tampa. This would have been the divisional round this year if Dallas had won. But we get it here in Madden in the NFC Championship. All right, here we go. Tampa Bay is going to come out and I think score immediately 7-0. to zero. It is now 14-0. to zero. Not looking good for us. Is it going to be 17-0? Uh, to zero. Okay, Dallas, I need you to step it up right now. 17-7. to seven. All right, 7 to 24. We need to get some points on this drive, man. We're not looking too good against Tampa right now. All right, here we go. I like Oh my, they got the confusion on. All right, it's fine. I know the routes. I know the routes. I don't I don't need to know where I'm going with the football. Um I'm going to have why I think. Oh my, what a play. What a play. That's just that's just an L by me. That was a bad play. Bad play. Bad bad throw. Bad bad throw. 7 to 31. It's fine. I'm coming back. Bad throw. Very bad throw by me. It's fine. I, I know. I shouldn't have done that. Let's go. We're going to run it back. All right. Got to make good decisions here. I'm going to have a... Okay. We'll have a little bit of yardage there. To get our 10 yards. Obviously, I would prefer to run the football here. But we have four verts now. Let's see if uh, somebody can get open. Maybe I'll throw it to Amari Cooper. Who knows? Let's see. I'm going to go to Amari Cooper. Why the hell not? I think he got. might have got this. Oh, let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. T time out. Time out. 7 to 31. We really needed that play right there. All right. I'm going to go to the slip screen. This might be an L, but we'll see if it works out. I actually have my audible out of it. Looks like they're playing man. Maybe they're not. Who knows? Okay. Um, CD Lamb. Let's see uh, if we can get. Actually, it looks like I have some uh, room over here to run the ball. I'm going to just take it out of bounds just like that. Two or 36 seconds left on the two-yard line. I think we have the ability to just run the football here just because, obviously, we have Zeke. Uh, CeeDee Lamb is actually going to be not even covered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have CeeDee Lamb just take an out route, and I'm just going to throw it to him immediately. So CeeDee Lamb should be open. Yeah, just like that. Touchdown. Okay, we got a touchdown just like that. That's what you love to see. CeeDee Lamb, let's go, baby. All right, man. I did all I could. Wow, look at those Tampa fans pushing them out. All right. Let's go to the next moment. All right. Are you kidding me? Tampa got some points before half. That sucks. Okay. Come on, Dallas. We got a field goal. Okay. 1734. 17. It's not. It's boys. It's not looking good. I, I think it's safe to say we lost this game. I'm not going to jump in, man. All right. Divisional round. Unfortunate. We lost again in the playoffs. Can I get to the NFC championship, man? Almost reminds me of the Clippers of the NBA, almost, man. But hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It does suck we weren't able to get to the NFC Championship. Tom Brady and the Buccaneers best us here. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think the Dallas Cowboys should be doing this offseason, in your opinion? 
But for now, this is Crushables 2 saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.